Hi, welcome to this video. I am Queen Lawas and I am here to discuss about the HRU of the Harrison, Ruzu, and Ullman. So here, the Harrison, Ruzu, Ullman, or the HRU, the HRU security model is an operating system level computer security model which deals with the integrity of access rights in the system. It is an extension of the grand model based around the idea of the finite set of procedures being available to edit the access rights of a subject on an object. So the HRU model consists of an access matrix together with a finite set of commands that are used to manipulate the matrix in order to develop a model equivalent to build is we need to exhibit commands that to develop this rule. So um Harrison Rosa Ullman means uh the Harrison Rosa Ullman security model are compositely by these authors, namely Michael E. Harrison, Walter L. Russo, and Jeffrey D. Ullman. Along with this presenting the model, Harrison, Russo, and Ullman also discuss the possibilities and limitations of proving the safety of system using an algorithm. So, Graham Denning model also, it is a computer security model that shows how subjects and objects should be securely created and deleted. It also addressed how to assign specific access rights. It is mainly used in access control mechanism for uh, distributed systems. So, next, so Horizon Russo Oman matrix. So, we have your matrix. So, in the matrix, each entry, um, the subject and object, maybe a decision rule with specified conditions on the access. So we have here uh, four conditions, the data dependent, time dependent, um, context dependent, history dependent. So first, the data dependent conditions constraints on the value of the access data. So it's, um, it, it means it means uh, the data dependent on the data that you inputted uh, to give you a value to access. Um, then the time dependent it's limited of uh, it's limited because of dependent on certain in the uh, end time to be accessed. So for context um, context dependent it is restricted by the combinations of the data which be accessed. And then the history dependent are based on the previous data that you inputted. So that's why the the data that you inputted you have to access. Uh, um, we have to uh, limited. We have to give a limited time for each dependence. So next, the operations. So there are six types of operations in the access matrix. Enter, delete, create, delete, create, and delete objects, subject and objects. So um, if you have to, uh, if you have to create the operations on your um, data, you have to access. You uh, you have to use the that subject. Or object to allow the to allow the system that you uh, that allows um, to allow the systems that you have to create that uh, you have to create or um, you have to put the data that you created so next commands uh, there are five commands here we have here a give resend uh, generate, destroy, and upgrade. If you have to give the, your command, you have to this one. You have to put this one, and then the recent, then the generate, generate, and the destroy and the upgrade. So commands, um, we have uh, the command is simply a conditional, a conditional. We have a, a boolean sequence. You have to. I uh, will use the following commands for ease orientation that is requesting subject. So here next, uh, we have here a safety and the syntax. So this is the syntax that you want to put the data or you want to create. And the, then if you have to, um, if you have to create or 
use the data um of course we have to uh be safe uh of our um system or give the uh or to ha you have to protect your system then next protection system so Oh, protection system has finite set R of generic rights, finite set of commands, protection systems is a state transition system to model system, specify the following constraint, um, constants, set of all possible subjects, set of all possible sub objects, and then R. So here, we have a primitive commands. This is based on a set of primitive commands, the five commands. So create uh, the object, create object, a subject, an object, enter, delete, destroy, yeah, destroy and destroy the subject and the object. So the horizontal resolution model describes authorization system for creating subject and objects, deleting subject and objects, similar to the Graham Denny model, composed of a set of generic rights and commands. So, what it is all about the subject and object. So, I will explain it with you what is all about the subject and object. So, so the subject and object, these functions um, associate a security value to a subject or object, which allows, uh, allows one to compare subjects to objects. Yes, that's uh, how uh, that's how you you function it. You uh, function it to the value you use. So next, uh, we have an uh, abstract. The work by Harris and Rosalman on safety in the context of the access matrix model is widely considered to be um work access control in this paper register errors we have discovered in the um, access control so um, I have uh, here about I have I, I want to discuss also about the um, operating systems or the safety of uh, about the protection systems so so protection systems it is controlled by the authorized person only it will not give your data that you want to access if you're not authorized for the safety also um, this section discusses the concept of safety as introduced by Harrison Russo and Oman um, and Tev uh, intuitively of a safe security model and HRU terminology is one which will not allow an authorized access to object so that's all um, this is all about the HRU